Hey, welcome back. How are you? I hope you're having a great rest of your weekend. If you're watching this on Sunday, listen, if you have a Webull account or any of those smaller apps that are on the phone, you know, those electronic brokerages, so to speak, I'm going to show you how to reach out and touch the custodian of your shares, which happens to be Apex. So let's get started. Now, first, let me start by saying I've had a long weekend. I've been running around today, Sunday. I've been bouncing off the wall since six o'clock this morning, doing a bunch of different stuff. So I'm exhausted. I probably look it, but I needed to do this video because we're getting bombarded right now with with all sorts of like ancillary stuff. And and meanwhile, you know, it may be factual, and we need to investigate this. We, it may be something you want to take a look at for sure. But I wanted to kind of show you. If you have like a Webull account or you have one of these smaller brokerage accounts that you deal with online with your with your phone, um, you know, your device, who is the clearinghouse? Now, I sent an a, a email out to Webull today because I use Webull. I love Webull. I have no problems with Webull. They're one of the larger apps on the phones for electronic broker. And but they don't hold your shares. They're not the custodian. The custodian is actually a, a company called Apex Clearing. I'm going to show you how to get into Apex Clearing. I'm going to show you how to start an account with Apex. And there are ways in which you can communicate with Apex. Do I think it's, and this is all, this is not financial advice. This is, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just going to let you know what I've done to do my due diligence and kind of keep my money safe. Um, Bottom line is you have the decision to do whatever you want to do. And I'm going to show you that too, because you got the big four brokers that are here in the States that a lot of people use. I use them. I have a number of different brokerage accounts. I like Webull simply because it's so simple to start, so simple to make an account. And I've never had a problem with them. I have stock in Webull. I have, you know, uh, shares in Webull that I've bought and, and sold. I've even transferred money out of Weeble into my account and the money was there in a couple of days. So they're not a problem. I'm going to show you some things that you need to see. Now, as many of you know, I do promote Weeble. I do promote Publix. These are two electronic brokers. These are two, uh, you know, broker apps that you can use on your phone. Simple, easy, easy peasy. You can buy and sell with ease. Um, but a lot of people are concerned with the AMC squeeze. The AMC squeeze or the MOAS that we've been talking about for quite some time on this channel is going to happen. The question is, and there are, you know, we're getting bombarded over the weekend. You know what I'm talking about by some of the, some of our, our friends are, you know, are, are, are we safe? Are we safe? Will, will Weeble, will some of these brokerage apps, you know, be able to handle what, what's about to come? Tip, and this is not a normal stock play. You know what I mean? This is not, you know, buying and selling regular stocks on on the um, on these apps. This is something big that's going to be huge, and we need to take a look at it. But I wanted to show you some things here on Weeble and uh, here. Weeble is regulated by top tier financial authorities and provides a maximum of five hundred thousand dollar investor protection, including a two hundred fifty thousand dollar limit for cash under the Securities Investor Protection Corporations, yada, yada, yada. So Webull is, you know, who is Webull? They are a Chinese company. They are a company that is overseas, but they are connected to the U.S. by, you know, the, the stock exchange and stuff. There's nothing wrong with this particular company. They wouldn't be able to do what they're doing if there was something wrong or there was even any red flags. Tons of people use Webull, but know this, and this is something that people aren't telling you is that they have a maximum of $500,000 in investor protection. That may not be enough for you uh, if this happens, but I don't think it's a problem. I'm going to show you how to get in touch with the actual custodian that holds your shares for Webull. Uh, Publix, another company. Here it is right here. Public is insured and protected again. Like I said before, they're, they're the same, same thing. $500,000 in investor protection and $250,000. Uh, is covered in cash. So that should right there tell you that, you know, you're protected. It, God forbid anything goes south. But if you're like me and you sent an email to Webull, 
uh, you got a response saying, hey, Apex is your is the person, the custodian that actually holds this, and but you can't get in touch with them. You know what I mean? What is that? That's that's not the answer I want. So if you're a propeller head like me, you want answers right this second. So I went ahead and did some uh, little digging, and I hope this helps you. If it does help you, please, if you're going to get some info and, and value out of this, please smash that like button. Let me know in the comment sections what your thoughts are too about this video. So Publix, like I said, they're insured. Uh, what do I have over here? Publix is an app-based SOC program, brokerage program that doesn't charge commissions. It was founded in 2017. A little bit more information for you. Um, but again, they're backed by you know the big boys. They're backed by not only the insurance factors, but I don't think we have much to worry about. Now, bottom line is, if you, are uncomfortable in any way shape or form and again your decision don't listen to me I don't know what I'm talking about right but if you are uncomfortable with this you know oh my god we will uh, AMC you can always transfer out this thing's not happening this week uh, at least I don't think so uh, it, but you have plenty of time to transfer most transfers can be uh, you know completed in about two days so this is something that I wanted to show you on reddit that I found on Reddit. I was digging deep for this and here it is. This is uh, was posted back in, I think, was it January? No, it was posted back in, five months ago, back when the AMC vote was going on and how you can get involved. But here's how you can get right to Apex Holdings and open an account with Apex. Real simple to do and I'll show you what's up. So, we will use this Apex Clearing for their clearing house, okay? That's what they use. If you don't know that already, now you do. Most of these smaller brokerage apps use Apex. They gotta be connected to something to get into the, to make the trades, you know, and make things happen. So this is how you go and, and touch it, you know, find out and see your stuff live in Apex. I will leave a link to this in the description box. So don't worry if you don't get it all, it's not that hard, but you want to open up your app on Weevil, find out, or any of the smaller trading apps. If they, in fact, deal with Apex, you can do this. You can open up multiple accounts. So here's how it goes. Open up your Weevil account and know your account number. It's an alpha numeric number. You're going to go to apexclearing.com. And this is where you're going to start opening up your account. You're going to follow the prompts. It's going to ask you for your account number. That's the account number that you have with Weeble or one of the other apps. If by chance Apex is not the clearinghouse for one of these other apps that you're using, you won't be able to say it'll say invalid while you go through this account opening process. But if you have Weeble and other, other uh, brokerages that are using Apex, this is going to work. Okay, so you, let's see, no, no uh, spaces or hyphens. It'll ask you for your social security number. You enter that. It'll ask you for your email. Use the email that you are associated with, with that Weeble account. It'll ask you to create a user ID and password. Then you you can ready to vote. This is back when you had the voting option. Um, so basically, that's it. You can open up the Apex Clearing account for yourself. Easy to do, just by following these steps. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now here's a shot of Apex clearing their website where you'll start your account by entering your account number. Um, so that's that. You also, I believe I found their LinkedIn. This is Apex clearing company, Apex FinTech Solutions. Um, and basically they're solutions for, you know, smaller apps. Who are these apps? Let's find out. So I'll go over here, found another post. These are the firms, whether or not they're, they use a clearing house or if they're self clearing. And here you go. Robinhood is cleared by Robinhood. You know why? Because they're owned by the the ones that are getting their butts kicked by the Fed right now, right? Uh, Weeble, Apex Clearing. Public, Apex Clearing. So who doesn't use Apex and, and are their own clearing, their own you know holders of your stock? TD Ameritrade right here. One of my faves. One of my faves. My fave. Um, Fidelity, are they on here? I don't know if they're on here or not. I don't see them right now, but... They're massive. I'm pretty sure they hold their own. So if you're concerned, you want to reach out and touch these guys, this is how you do it. If you're feeling squirrely, a little freaked out by the news that you're getting over the weekend here, 
Apex Clearing is most likely, Apex Clearing House or whatever, is most likely the ones that are the custodian, the ones that actually have your stock. And that's that. So let's talk about what's happening. AMC had a tremendous week end with Spider-Man. What was it? $250 million box office money, revenue. Massive, record-breaking. Worldwide, it was like $500 million. I think that's going to, we're going to see that this week. We're going to see a lot of people pulling out of the stock market that they've been bled out on. You know, like the market's been red. It's going to continue this week, I think, to be major. you know, the majority of the stock market is going to be red. People are pulling out the economy, the inflation, taxes, interest, everything is going to bleed, 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 except the meme stocks. The meme stocks, the shorted stocks, you know, your sundial, your, you know, I'm looking at it right here. At the end of the week, all these shorted stocks were doing really, really well. They were not really, they were going up when everything else was going down. So people are going to start pulling their money out of the stocks that have been hemorrhaging them. They're going to, they're going to need that, 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 that loss for the profit loss at the end of the year for taxes. And they may, in fact, start putting money into, I think we're going to start seeing more buying in AMC. The news of Spidey and the, and the, the tremendous amount of money that's coming to AMC. These are things that we're going to see this week. That's my prediction. We're going to see it go up to maybe $35, maybe even more. Um, will, will we see the MOAS this year? Anyone's guess. I'm thinking... Look, end of the year stuff, stock market is cyclical. This is the time of year when people do, this is the time of year where something might happen like this. So I don't think the MOAS, the big money, we're not going to see that stuff with this, with the stock going to like hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars until early next year. That's just what I think. Um, because a lot of things are going to, are coming in, a lot of things, the economy, the interest rates, inflation, what's happening in our country and around the world with this new variant. People are freaked out. We're, we're, we're in the perfect storm. We're coming up into the perfect storm. Then you've got Evergrande and the rippling effects that that's going to have eventually. It doesn't happen quickly. It's going to happen eventually, but we're going to start seeing. AMC to the freaking moon, baby. We're going to see that. Hold is all that we have to do as apes. You know that. The more we hold, that price goes up. They can't buy. They can't buy back. You know the deal. I'm very excited. I'm, you might not look at it. I'm exhausted right now, but I had to put this out there for you. AMC is going places. We're going places, and we're going to see life-changing wealth. Figure out what your number is based on what you got holding. You know, This is not financial advice. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But, you know, think about it. What's your number? And that's your number. But the more you hold, the more we hold as a community, the stock will go up. You know the deal. So I hope you had some, found some value in this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Very interested to hear that. But if you're freaked out, go to one of the big fours. Transfer, if you're using one of the smaller apps and you're a little tripped out because, you know, it, they're not the custodian of your... Go to another app, go to Fidelity, go to TD Ameritrade, go somewhere. Make your own mind. I can't tell you what to do. That's your decision. But I think we're safe no matter what. I think we're going to be okay. Let me know in the comment section below. Smash that like button, please. And if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel with notifications and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Have yourself a great rest of your day and God bless.